Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I am going to cover Carpenter's bin packing mechanism. So if you are someone who is using Carpenter, uh, and if you are someone who's not using Carpenter and don't know what Carpenter is, so Carpenter is basically a cluster auto scaler for Kubernetes. Uh, it was an AWS, but then they open sources, open sourced it a few years ago, and then it is like an auto scaler on steroids, basically. Uh, if you have worked with uh, EKS, you would know that the auto scaler that comes with EKS is cl cluster auto scaler, which most of the people are aware of. They use cluster auto scaler, and Carpenter is something new in the market. Uh, it is a very high performant uh, cluster auto scaler. It can actually let you save a lot of money on your cluster. So yeah, that's that's what basically Carpenter is. But today uh, I'm not going to cover the basics of Carpenter or show you how you can configure it or stuff like that. I'm going to ca cover basically how Carpenter schedules pods on your cluster, right? So let's get started. Mm, let me get my pencil out. So if you know like what a cluster autoscaler does, so cluster autoscaler basically looks for pending pod and then it basically also keeps monitoring the node resource utilization and based on that it makes decision whether it has to basically launch extra nodes or not and there are like bunch of uh, things uh, which cluster autoscaler cannot do like it cannot launch instances of multiple types I mean for because it basically relies on uh, auto scaling groups which is an AWS concept uh, so you probably have to create multiple node groups and basically it becomes very complex if you want to uh, create nodes based on your utilization right but carpenter actually uh, seamlessly does that and how it does basically so it also basically monitors okay so yeah it also looks for pending pod so suppose we have one two three four five six seven and eight eight pending pods right so carpenter uses something called as bin packing and bin packing is based on an algorithm called fit first decreasing so basically it's, it's just a concept of this basically inserting objects in a list uh, in the decreasing order so from largest to smallest right so it uses that so what it does basically if you see like we have eight pods which are pending so what carpenter will try to do is basically try to divide these pods into smaller batches right so suppose it creates one batch of first four pods and it creates another batch right I mean, I mean this is just how it works i mean it can be batches of two pods as well right it depends basically on the number of pods uh, which are in, which are in pending state so so suppose it creates these batches, let's call this batch one and batch two, one, two, right? So now what Carpenter will do, it will basically sum up all the resources required by all the pods in this batch. So suppose this pod requires say one gig of memory and say 0.25 CPU, right? In the same way, suppose this requires two gigs, this requires three gigs, this requires 10 gigs so it sums up all that and it also sums up the CPU and based on that number it is going to the AWS EC2 and select an instance which basically is able to accommodate this right accommodate or this batch of pods so so based on that suppose it selects say an instance which has say eight virtual CPUs right and 32 gigs of ram so 32 gigs so suppose we require only say 16 gigs so okay we have some space left so what it is going to do and cpu wise also like it looks good so it is going to put these pods on this particular node and this node can be any node right because there are like a bunch of nodes which have this configuration in aws and that depends on what kind of configuration you have done on the node pool side. So I'm not going to cover node pool. What is a carpenter node pool? Because then it, this video will be like an hour long. 
I'm going to do a series on Carpenter, so a hands-on series where because I've just finished a project where I've implemented large-scale uh, Carpenter implementation, so I can actually cover a lot of stuff in in a in the series where like what all issues you can face, how you basically migrate from cluster auto scale and stuff like that, right? So I'll do that. This is basically all about bin packing. Okay, so now Carpenter puts put these pods onto this node right but then it looks like out of my second batch will i be able to put the second batch onto this node as well so suppose now in second batch what happens is like this pod requires 5 gigs of memory this requires 10 gigs of memory this requires say again 10 gigs of memory and this requires 2 gigs of memory right and Similarly, corresponding, it requires the CPU as well, right? So suppose this requires two, five, two, and say five, right? So our total CPU is like 10, 14, and our RAM is uh, 20 and 17, 27. But we have already utilized almost like half the CPU from here, right? So we have already utilized four CPUs and half the RAM as well. So 16 gigs of RAM is also gone. So now Carpenter will look at the pods which can actually fit on this, on this configuration, right? So four CPU. So this requires five, this requires five. These two pods are filtered out, but this, these two pods, so combining them, they require four CPU. And then it will look at the memory. So this requires 5 gigs, this requires uh, 10 gigs, sorry, 2 gigs. So total memory required is just 7 gigs. So what it is going to do, it is going to put these two pods onto this node as well, right? And then scale the cluster to fit these two pods. And the next node it will select will be based on the requirement of these two pods, right? So 10 gigs of memory, 5 CPU, 10 gigs of memory, 5 CPU. So it is going to select a node which basically has more than 10 CPUs and 20 gigs of RAM, right? So this is going to be based on that. So, and likewise, so this is basically it's going to continue. So suppose we get more pending pods. Again, it will keep putting pods onto this, right? And then launching nodes based on whatever is left off. So that is what Bing packing is like in a nutshell. All right. So I hope you got the context of bin packing, right? Uh, how, and this is very efficient because it basically utilizes almost like you are utilizing. I mean, if you look at the cost, if you look at the node utilization compared to cluster order scaler, you would see that you are saving almost like close to 70% compared to cluster order scaler. And your node utilization, suppose if it if it was just like say 30% with cluster auto scaler, it will zoom up to like 90, maybe plus. So CPU and memory both, right? So it basically optimizes your cl cluster utilization. All right, so yeah, that's all pretty much for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you, you like this video. Uh, in the next upcoming videos, I'm going to cover Carpenter in detail, like how you can install it, how you migrate from cluster order scaler if you have an existing cluster order scaler on a cluster, right? So we're going to cover all that, what, uh, what all things are required. So that's what we are going to do in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching, guys.